Yo, what up? It's your boy Slim Almighty TV, and we back with another reaction video. Uh, unfortunately, it's due to the untimely passing of BTB Savage, uh, a San Antonio rapper who was actually born in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, he caught a body in self-defense recently, I think like a month ago. And um, yeah, man, he was just going crazy on the internet. You know what I'm saying? He did a Vlad TV interview interview about it. The interview hit a million. It's at 900,000 right now. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit a million by the time I drop this video. Uh, you know, he went he yeah, he did a whole video, music video about it, yeah, and got away with the shit. And so he been taunting the ops for like a fucking month, you know what I'm saying? I guess they finally spent back. But we finna go over and see what happened, what went wrong, and you know, so this ain't to get no clout or to be on no weird shit because that ain't what we about over here. I'm actually against that shit. But we need to see what happened and how we can prevent this further, man, because it seems like in every city, it's just a black uh, mass genocide going on amongst each other, man. It needs to stop, and that's what we about over here. You know what I'm saying? We about progression, you know what I'm saying? Growth and development, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Big player. But, uh, yeah, let's get right into it, man. First, I'm going to play the music video that he dropped after he caught the body because it got the uh the motherfucking uh, the news footage in it. So it's going to be it's, it's cool, you know? Let's go. Let's get, jump right into it. Now know the name of a man shot. Now know the name of a man shot outside of his downtown apartment Friday evening, 34-year-old Omar Richardson. That's according to the Mayor Richardson County Medical the Examiner's Office. The shooting happened just after girl. 11 p.m. on McCullough Avenue, not far from I-35. When San Antonio police arrived, they found right there, a blood trail, which led to Richardson. He was pronounced dead at the scene. I was scene. just in San Antonio the other day, too. yet on any arrest. Jack just want to drink. Ducked off in the coop, ride around with my favorite suit. Y'all niggas had y'all turn, now it's my turn to pop shit. At the ATM, finna hit the box to make them bands quit. Drop a bag on them, you can't find them, go and get his man's hit. I got this nigga mad, this bitch love the way I pop shit. Fed blocks, I'm pressing tens, I'm walking out with dog shit. I'm fresh as fuck, I know the feds watching, but they not here. Every time I bust down, I go and buy a new blick. Young and turn, nigga, I've been pulling for off for four summers. Okay, bro, got bands for real. I'll walk him down the yeah, lane. Hey, bro, they bro really had the bands for I did crazy. a dash on him, hit the box, I finna wipe these cards with my mask on. Switch my IP when I drop a check, I buy a new phone. Fuck a job, I'd rather get off bags and swipe off our phones. Last nigga reach for this shit, he can't walk no more. Care credit fraud, I'll swipe a card and build a hoe. Hating ass nigga, the I made a dub before I made a song. I'm tripping off the drink, I spent 4,000 on the Louis coat. I sit there in the bank, she took the check, now she my favorite hoe. I went to TSA with Drake, I'm on the his videos by himself. Yeah, they had to get him. They, I, yeah, they was mad. That video, and if that video wasn't enough, let's hop into the Vlad interview. You know, the Vlad interview is gonna go viral. I seen it on Instagram. I thought it was fake. I thought a nigga was just playing. This nigga really on Vlad TV talking about the shit. So let's hop uh, into it right now. Boom. Make sure I ain't got no ads on this shit. I ain't paying. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Like I was saying, man, shit crazy, bro. RP, uh, BTV Savage. My nigga, unfortunate situation. Bro, definitely dropped some quotables that made the ops mad on that shit. Now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say the interview was bad because if anybody had been through that situation, they definitely would have, you know, especially with their kid and survived and popped a nigga, like, they definitely would have bragged about that shit for about at least a year. I ain't going to lie to you. So I can't even fully blame, bro, for this shit. But, yeah, if you do get out of that situation, man, definitely don't taunt the ops too bad. Them niggas is... Yeah, the nigga was pissed off at this nigga, man. This nigga dropped quotables. He wasn't even fucking rapping. Like, yeah, the nigga was fucking pissed. Anyway, man, unfortunate situation. I'm going to run this back. I'm going to do some little shorts on this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's too much fucking violence in hip-hop, man. Like, it's just simple. Like, not even a beef. Like, you ain't even had no motherfucking beef. Prior beef. It wasn't no, oh, we going back and forth. I did this to your niggas or, or, or you did this to my niggas. It was just like a simple nigga trying to, nigga act like he trying to buy a feature turn into a robbery. That does not happen in fucking country music. That does not happen in fucking, in fucking rock and roll, fucking bluegrass, none of that shit. Only in hip hop, 
the, will a studio session turn into a fucking robbery, my nigga? And this shit need to change, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been in situations, nigga. I'm a motherfucking, you know, I'm a producer, I'm an audio engineer. I'd have been in studio sessions, nigga shooting across the way. You know what I'm saying? Nigga gun go off in the studio. Niggas got straps, got poles in the studio, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got arrested leaving the studio and shit, nigga. I didn't, you know, crazy shit happens in hip hop studios. It's fucked up. And that's why they don't wanna fuck with us. That's why they be trying to separate themselves musically, you know what I'm saying? Like music culture in general do not fuck with rap. Cause they scared. You know what I'm saying? Who can fucking blame them, bro? Hey yo, and now we about to get into hold on man, cause I feel like my audio fucking up. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. Now we about to now we about to get into uh the the photos this nigga posted, man, and the shit that got the ops mad and like the posts and shit that you see. So yeah, here it go. Let me just the Yeah. Let me just drag that over. See, let's get the whole thing in there, bitch. Yeah, see, that's what a nigga posted. You know, <sighs> nigga, what? 17.6 million views, nigga. 140, 100, 10, 10 fucking retweets. Yeah, yeah, them niggas is pissed at that. Look, everything bro told was real. Crazy, too. Money. Yeah, it's fucked up. Look, it's a kid's toy. Paw Patrol. Wow, bro. That's fucking insane, bro. R.I.P. my nigga. R.I.P. bro. I'm not saying he was my nigga, but just R.I.P. You know, say anybody. Let's download this shit. Can't even play it. So, yeah. And this is the video. It's, that's the video of bro did in Houston. That's the, that's the video of bro gone in Houston. It's fucked up. Yeah, RP BTP Savage, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, we got to do better. Uh, let me switch back to regular. We got to do better. Uh, yeah, definitely an unfortunate situation, bro. Fucking crazy. Hey, I thought he was finna blow. He, he he definitely was finna blow up. I mean, he definitely blew up now, man. RP bro. And the, the ones who really got to suffer about this, man, is his son. I can relate because I got a son and I can't even... I was having PTSD. I was having... You know, I got trauma just from listening to that shit. So, yeah, RP bro. You know, some my condolences go out to his family and shit, for real.